Hey guys, welcome to another Movie My Way. Today we're going to be reviewing the movie Hannah, starring Saoirse Ronan, Kate Blanchett, and Eric Bana. What can I say about this movie? It was pretty cool. I didn't quite, um, wasn't quite sure what I was in for when, uh, when I first saw the previews, and I think that was part of my problem with this film, is that I think it was marketed very poorly. I mean, I'd run into people that said that they thought it was uh, a spy movie, and some people thought that it was a horror movie, and uh, wrong, wrong, wrong. It was all marketed very wrong. But I think if you just kind of look past the poorly cut trailer and watch this movie, I think you'd be decently surprised. Um, this whole film had a really good vibe to it. I don't know what it was. I think it was just a combination of the visuals and the... And the locations and the and the acting and the music. Oh, the music was way cool. And I'll have to point out that that I love the trend that this is kind of going in. Kind of like uh, you know how uh, Trent Reznor did the Facebook movie. Um, you know the Dust Brothers did Fight Club, and Daft Punk did the Tron Legacy soundtrack. This soundtrack was done by the uh, Chemical Brothers, which was a really nice touch. I really dug on on the music in this film. It really kind of just set this overall mood and, and vibe to it. It was really good. I was able to find a clip to kind of show you how this all works. So check this little sequence out. That's just one example of many in this film that shows how the music can tie everything together from the action to the sets to the direction to the acting. It's just it's just really fun. Um, real strong supporting cast. Um, both Eric Bana and Kate Blanchett were really good. A uh, lot of lot of weird, quirky kind of character driven things that they did with their characters really made made the kind of story pop. You know, you, you kind of look at it and go. Wow, why'd they do that? But they did it consistently and they did it well. I really like the juxtaposition that this movie portrayed with her kind of being uh, the main character, Hannah, being so sheltered, you know, being, but yet being a trained, you know, assassin basically by her father. And, and you know, you get to kind of see the awkwardness where she doesn't even really know what electricity is. She doesn't know how things operate. I thought the directing in this movie was great. I thought that um, he utilized the screen from edge to edge and I thought that was really cool. I wish I could show you some more specific examples that I'm only limited to what the trailer can show me. So uh, the good, it was just fun. It was just fun from beginning to end. Soundtrack really was was what I think tied everything together and gave a good vibe to the film. Characters were good and quirky kind of, uh, you know, just not your run-of-the-mill superhero or, or evildoer, you know, it, it just, it, they kind of mixed it up. The bad, a couple of plot holes if you thought about it too hard, but eh, it didn't really matter. A lot of, a lot of good movies still have some plot holes. Um, and then it was poorly marketed. I just wish that, that uh, filmmakers would try and kind of market their movies to the correct audience. So overall, I give Hannah four stars. Good film. Uh, fun time and uh, I highly recommend you check it out so thanks for watching and this has been another movie my way Try the life.